Hi everyone and welcome to today's lesson where we're going to look at The Pomegranate by Evan Boland. Okay, so before we begin the poem, it's important to understand the Greek myth mythological reference that she's referring to. And I'm just going to quickly go over what the story is. Uh, the story is about a young girl, Persephone, who was abducted by Hades, who was the Greek god of the underworld. She was brought to the underworld and made his bride. Okay, her Ceres was her mother. She was the goddess of grain and agriculture. And while um, Persephone was in the underworld, everything stopped growing. Okay, so the place was barren. It was winter all the time. So uh, Zeus, who was the supreme god, he tried to intervene and he forced Hades to return Persephone to her mother. But Hades tricked Persephone into eating six seeds of pomegranate or six pomegranate seeds so therefore she had to stay in the underworld so the agreement they came to was that Persephone would spend six months back with her mother and six months in the underworld and thus that began the the change in the seasons and it's how uh, the Greeks and the Romans explained um, the, the changing of the seasons that was the story behind it so while she was the six months at happy with and her mother was happy everything grew when she went to the underworld everything stopped so uh, Boland uses this uh, reference or this little story to explain her own relationship with her own daughter. Okay, so knowing that now, we're going to start the poem, we're going to run through it. As, if, as I say in the other videos, you will have done this in class. So this is about revising, going over the poetic devices and just a general summary of the poem. Okay, the only legend I have ever loved is the story of a daughter lost in hell. So there's the legend, the, the Greek legend. The story of the daughter lost in hell, that's Persephone, and found and rescued there. Love and blackmail are the gist of it. So the themes of the, of the story are love and blackmail. Ceres and Persephone, the names. And the best thing about the legend is I can enter it anywhere and have. Now, this means she has been both Persephone and Ceres. Like most uh, women, she has been the daughter and then she becomes the mother and the roles change, okay? And your perspective on life changes uh, with the changing of the roles. And have, as a child in exile, now it's important to know here that um, Boland as a young child traveled a lot, her father was a diplomat. So as a child in exile in a city of fogs and strange consonants, okay? I think she, uh, it was London, she was there. Strange consonants, so different accents in a city of fogs. So uh, the fog there, because of the fog, you couldn't see the stars. She's comparing it to the underworld where Persephone had to live, okay? It's not like Ireland where we look up to the sky and we can see the stars. I read it first, and at first, I was an exiled child in the crackling dusk of the underworld. The stars blighted. So she saw herself as Persephone, cut off from uh, the real world or where she wanted to be, okay? So she compared London to the underworld there. Later, I walked out in summer twilight, searching for my daughter at bedtime. So up here, she's Persephone. Okay, excuse the writing. And over here, she is now serious. The roles have swapped. When she came running, I was ready to make any bargain to keep her. So just like Ceres made a bargain with Hades and Zeus, she was ready to make any bargain to keep her. She was out looking for her at bedtime. She was scared of losing her daughter. Okay, and that's what this is about. She was scared of losing her daughter. She doesn't mean, uh, I suppose, and if she's out looking for it, it could mean in literal sense, or it could mean just the drifting apart, okay? Now, her daughter's not going to the underworld, but um, the drifting apart, she could be going to college, she could be basically gaining more independence every day. Okay, so, I carried her back past white beams and wasps and honey-scented buddhalayas, but I was Ceres then, and I knew winter was in store for every leaf on every tree on that road. Okay, she was Ceres, and she knew winter was in store. What does that mean? Okay, so she knows she'll lose her daughter. Okay, she knows it's only a matter of time. She won't lose her, literally, but her daughter is going to grow up, and she will no longer need her mother in the same way. Was inescapable for each one we passed, and for me it is winter, and the stars are hidden. I climb the stairs and stand where I can see my child asleep beside her teen magazines 
her can of Coke. Okay, so the teen magazines and can of Coke, think of the imagery there. It's the imagery of adolescence. It's an imagery of, of being a teenager, a can of Coke and a teen magazine, okay? Her plate of uncut fruit, the pomegranate. And she says it out loud, how did I forget? Okay, so like uh, Persephone, her daughter has eaten the seed of the pomegranate, okay? So that means she's lost her I, I, the same way in the same way that Ceres lost her daughter because of the pomegranate seed she's comparing now her daughter she tried to keep her she tried to make sure she didn't lose her but she still ate the seeds highlighting there you can't look over her all the time or you can't make every decision for her she could have come home and been safe and ended the story and all her heartbroken searching but she reached out a hand and plucked a pomegranate okay so basically She's saying just like Persephone, she took the pomegranate. And had she not taken the pomegranate, the story would have been happy ever after. But like life, it's rarely happy ever after. She put out her hand and pulled down the French sound for apple. Okay, uh, French sound for apple, palm. And the noise of stone, granite, and the proof that even in the place of death, at the heart of the legend, in the midst of rocks full of unshed tears, ready to be diamonds, by the time the story was told, a child can be hungry. I could warn her. Now, this is really important. There's still a chance. So she's saying she could warn her. What would warning her do? Can a mother look over her daughter forever? Can she warn her of all the pitfalls of life? No, she can't. The rain is cold. The road is flint-coloured. The suburb has cars and cable television. The veiled stars are above ground. It is another world. But what else can a mother give her daughter but such beautiful rifts in time? Now, this is the most important line in the poem. If I defer the grief, I will diminish the gift. Now, to defer something means to put it off. So if she puts off the, the grief, the gift will be less. What she means here is if she hovers over her and makes sure she doesn't make any mistakes... The gift she will lose is the gift of experience. So think of it in terms of this. If your parents made every decision for you and you never made a mistake, what would happen? You wouldn't learn anything, okay? So the gift is the gift of life, gift of experience, the gift of making mistakes, okay? Like uh, Persephone taking the pomegranate, it's a symbol of how we make mistakes, but we learn from them. Now, if I defer this, so she's going to be a good mother. She's going to say nothing. Um, think of it in, in a real life context. Um, uh, a young girl takes home someone their parents don't approve of. Do they make sure she, do they force her to break up with them? Or do they, does she, do they allow her to make her own mistakes? Making her own mistakes is what will uh, allow people to grow. So if I defer the grief, I will diminish the gift. The legend will be hers as well as mine too. And that's important as well. She's acknowledging that her daughter won't be Persephone forever. At some point, her daughter will turn into Ceres. And this is why she loves the legend so much. It, it allows everyone to change roles over time. And even though she was Persephone and she made all the mistakes she can make, you can't live someone else's life. You can't make sure they don't make mistakes. She will enter it as I have. She will wake up. She will hold the papery flushed skin in her hand. And to her lips, I will say nothing, okay? In order to be a good mother, she will say nothing, okay? Now that she is serious, she will just say nothing and allow her to make her own mistakes. Okay, so uh, important things to remember there uh, are the, the, is the imagery, um, the city of fogs and strange consonants. There's the image of the, the can of Coke and the teen magazine. The line to remember is if I defer the grief, I will diminish the gift. And basically what the story is about is growing up um, and letting people go. Um, that she can't be serious. Serious can't hold on to her daughter forever in the same way that all mothers must let their daughters go. But they must also let them make their own mistakes. Let them live life and let them go on to be serious in the hope, even though they've learned everything, not to try and push it on to their own daughters. As ever, any uh, questions, feel free to email me or contact me at website at www.endasenglishnotes.com. Thank you.